Hi, Monster Gardeners. Today we're going to talk about a problem that has plagued our gardeners for centuries. What am I talking about? Powdery mildew. Many plants are highly susceptible to this disease. Uh, fruiting plants, flowering plants, cannabis, there's a number of different plants that are very susceptible to this disease. Up until now, there's only been a few cures, uh, most of them being preventative things like burning sulfur or using whitewash, which is something that you can use later in flower, which is safe enough to use up to the day of harvest. But what do you organic gardeners do to not only prevent this, but to treat it once you actually have it? The answer is this. This is a unit called the Clean Light. It comes from Holland and it utilizes a very special UV bulb to mitigate and control botrytis. Now keep in mind that uh, botrytis and powdery mildew are both systemic problems. So this is more like a band-aid or a preventative than it is for as a total cure. Because again, it's systemic. And once it's in the plant, it is in the plant. So this is a good way to treat that in an organic fashion without using chemicals like Eagle 20 uh, or uh, synthetic additives like whitewash. It's very effective and you'll notice on the box here in big bold letters it says that you have to wear safety goggles and gloves, and that is because UV light is harmful to your eyes. Uh, the sun, have you ever stared at the sun? Not a good idea, just like you don't want to stare at this bowl. So imagine that you're in a situation where you are at or near day of harvest, and you've discovered that you have botrytis or powdery mildew. What do you do? Well, botrytis, if it's deep inside the plant, this isn't going to penetrate it deeply enough in order to mitigate it. But if you have a powdery mildew issue, this is definitely a good solution for you. Inside the kit, you'll find the special UV gloves, which are, which are they look like regular rubber gloves, but they're not. These gloves are actually intended to block the UV light as you will be handling this machine with your hands. It also comes with a special pair of UV polarized sunglasses so that you don't uh, damage your eyes. You still don't want to look at this thing though because it is harmful to your vision. Um, the lamp that it utilizes does not put off ozone um, as products like the Big Blue. I know one of the questions that we're going to get asked about this unit is, does this unit emit ozone? The answer is yes, but in negligible amounts, very small. So inside the kit again, you have your clean light hobby unit, the lamp that it comes with, your gloves and glasses. The bulb plugs in very simply. I'm told that it only needs to be replaced once every two years and that application with this product is to be done daily until control over the issue has been gained. Uh, I've been using this unit myself at home because I have over my fence, as you can clearly see here in this picture, the worst case of powdery mildew that you've ever seen in your life on these redwood trees. So I'm constantly battling powdery mildew within my garden, uh, be it cucumbers or lettuce, uh, my jade plants, which is a type of succulent that comes from Southeast Asia. They all have issues with this disease and it's because it's floating around in the air. Uh, once the spores are in the air, they get on you and everything else. So if you have redwood trees like I do in your backyard and you're going into your growing area without changing your clothes, you're bringing mold spores in there with you. And introducing mold spores into your environment is something that's very easily done. Uh, it can come on your pets, it can come on you. It's all around us and we don't even see it. Funguses are everywhere. And in uh, moist conditions, as a lot, of people, a lot of us have in our inside rooms, you will notice that uh, these conditions can cause a pro proliferation of this disease. This is a real safe for your plants easy way of doing this. Now I know one of the other questions that we're going to get asked is can I put this product on my intake? No. We have another product for that and that's the Big Blue which we already shot a video on. Um, so you guys should know all about that one already. This one is all about control and mitigation and for you guys out there that do IPM which of course stands for Integrative Pest Management, this is a really great tool to have under your belt. It doesn't require that you spend much time at all within each surface of the plant. You just need to use a gentle sweeping motion over the whole surface of the plant. This is what the bulb looks like on the inside. I'll turn it on for you guys so you can get a good look at it. Um, I know one of the other questions that we're going to get asked is, will this damage my trichomes? If you're using it on finished product, yes, we know that UV light degrades trichomes. Um, that's what causes them to turn that amber or brown color and uh, basically degrade your overall product. When the plant is still living, however, it's able to regenerate because due to the amount of time that you're spending in each area, it's not gonna have a detrimental effect on your trichomes. Let's plug this in and see how it works. So again, imagine this. You are almost a day of harvest or even at day of harvest and you notice you have an issue of powdery mildew and you don't know what to do. You want to go the organic way and you want to make sure that you're preserving all the flavor and potency of your product. 
This is going to be the solution for that. Once we have our gloves on and our glasses, it's safe to use. So the unit emits a very soft looking blue light as you can see here on the tablecloth and that's what does all the work. And because of the UV spectrum that this creates, unlike the big blue ozone generator, which is an ozone generator, this is a different type of UV light. And again, this cannot be placed on your intake, but what you can do if you're integrating this into part of your integrative pest management approach is they can be put on a light mover um, so that they can move across the canopy for a few minutes each day. Um, again, all you need to do is do a sweeping motion over the plant, all the little parts, um, just takes a couple seconds and you're done. So the benefits of using technology like this is going to be, number one, it's very cost effective because once you buy the unit, the bulbs last for two years. You can do this daily as part of your integrative pest management approach, which will enable you to mitigate all these issues and not have to burn sulfur, which we all know can affect quality if you're having to do this in flower. Um, you can avoid using harmful sprays that are not only bad for your plants and the environment, but they're bad for you too, especially if you're growing medicine. Yes, this can be used on cannabis and any variety of fruiting and flowering plants without damaging it. Um, the manufacturer even states that because of the UV spectrum, it's actually healthy for your plant's leaf tissue because it gets an increased uh, UV spectrum, which is la sadly lacking for many bulbs within our industry. Uh, never point this product in your eyes, never point this product at anybody else, and avoid exposing your skin to this as well because we all know that UV light can cause cancer. But with careful use and keeping the light away from you, you'll notice that you're able to control these problems before they become so overwhelming that you can't do anything about it. I wish I would have known about this product last year when I went through a couple gallons of uh, attack. I tried uh, green cleaner, I used whitewash, I tried everything because I made the mistake of growing uh, squash in my backyard with a redwood tree that was completely infested with powdery mildew about 15 feet away. Um, I was able to gain control and I had to spray constantly in order to keep it under, under check so that the plant would survive and actually have some gourds, which I did get more delicious. But um, the big thing that the difference between these two is that if you do this every day, it's never gonna proliferate to the point where it's gonna take over the entire leaf surface, uh, which I'm sure you guys have all seen before. So for you guys out there that are doing, that are doing organic gardening, that don't like to use pesticides, this is a very, very good solution for you. It's also available in a commercial format, uh, which is a little bit larger. And what a lot of people are doing is they're actually employing these in greenhouses as a form of IPM just to kill the mold spores that are flying around in the air because as we spoke about earlier, they're everywhere. Um, if you're not scrubbing the air that comes into your grow space, it's getting in there and that's where it's coming from. It's coming on you, uh, it's coming from the outside air. It's literally everywhere around us. Now you may not see it growing, um, because outside it has to find the proper growing climate. It needs humidity, moisture, and darkness in order to proliferate. These are all things that are easily found within everyone's grow room. And this is a great way to sterilize your room as well after you do a breakdown. You can get into all the spots, all the nooks and crannies, and just basically nuke it. So this product is safe and effective. It's inexpensive and it actually works. I've been trying this out at home and uh, I've had great success with it in just two or three applications. This product and many other astounding products are available at monstergardens.com. Have a great day.